Hey you guys, it is Taylor. It is really hot in here as you can see I'm uh, sweating. <laughs> this is EV Electric if you don't know by the way. And summer's rolling around and you want your car to look good. It's time to change the color of those boring calipers. But you're gonna see two options here. You can either go caliper covers, which is a lot cheaper of an option, or you can go full blown paint. Which one do you choose? We're gonna get into it right now, let's go. Let's go! Alrighty, we are going to start with caliper covers and their benefits. So first of all, if you guys do not know what caliper covers are, think of your caliper, right? All you have is a piece of metal that goes over the caliper covers that gets bolted on to the caliper covers and that's it. All you have to do is take the wheel off, get a wrench, bolt them on, and you're good to go. You know, you just gotta do all four of them. It changes the color. You can customize the color by wrapping the caliper cover or they make some limited options of caliper covers. The most common one you'll see is red calipers. All right, now let's get into some of the benefits of these. Benefits for caliper covers are pretty good for a Tesla in particular. So first of all, they are low cost. They're almost, well, depending on who you go to, but they're generally about half the cost of regular painting your calipers. And you still get the customization if you want to vinyl wrap them or, or do whatever, you know, buy a different color of them. Um, they're low cost. They take about 30 to 45 minutes to install. You could honestly do them yourself. If you're not comfortable, people can do it for you easily. Absolutely perfect for leased cars. So if you guys want your car to look awesome, but you don't want to do something that might screw with the lease, caliper covers are there for you. You can take them off the day before you turn the car back in. We've heard the benefits of doing caliper covers. Now we're gonna move on to painting the calipers. So painting the calipers is quite the process, quite the price, but it is quite worth it, if I'd like to say. So painting calipers is, well, it's, it's a lot more work. You're gonna to have to take the wheels off. You're gonna to have to jack the whole car up. You bag it up and then you sand your calipers and you prime them and paint them. Um, you could do it in many different ways. This is just the most way that people do. Um, so prime paint, done. Stick the Tesla letters on it. And that is the process of doing painted calipers. Let's go through the benefits of those. First of all, the benefits of painting calipers are you can really get the color you want and everything you want fully customizable. If you want bright blue like me with black Tesla letters, you can do that. Um, if you are not good at vinyl wrapping, then you can't do that with caliper covers. Some more pros of painting your calipers are they look really good. The shape, you have a sh more of a shape now. I'll show you the difference here. And you can see that the, the shape of the caliper when it's painted looks absolutely beautiful. You keep that same great Tesla shape of their calipers and you don't lose the shape like caliper covers where it's a flat piece of metal that's slightly rounded with fake bolts on it. You don't, you don't get that. You get beautiful painted calipers. Your exact caliper on your car just gets painted right over. It looks great. It cleans off great. Brake dust isn't a big deal. It washes right off. Greatly customizable. The sky's the limit, really. Okay, so now we've heard the benefits of each. Let's move on to the cons or the downsides of caliper covers. So a big thing with caliper covers, I've learned from experience on my ICE car, are that they hold in heat. So think about your caliper right here. All the heat evaporates in every direction, right? Mostly the front because it's facing the wheel and it gets a lot of air blowing at it. Now you stick a thicker piece of metal right over it. You're gonna block a lot of heat in there and it could do a lot of issues with trying to keep your brakes cool and trying to keep them flowing nicely. Um, it's really bad on the performance end of it. You heat up your brakes so much faster than normal. But if you are not a crazy driver or a track goddess, then you don't have to worry about this because you have regen braking and you're not always gonna be slamming on the brakes like you are on a track or on a canyon road or something like that. So caliper covers, they 
have that issue of holding in heat, but Tesla's, uh, it doesn't really apply too much, you know? Another con of caliper covers are that it might fit a little weird on your rim. So another con of caliper covers are that it's just a piece of metal. It's just a piece of metal that's dropped right over the caliper and it looks flat because it's a, like a flat piece of metal. It has fake little bolts, some of them, which look pretty cheesy. And I mean, honestly, they're not really much, you know? And, and when you have a piece of metal over your caliper, this is from experience, by the way, um, brake dust builds up on that caliper and then starts to fall on the wheel barrel and it attracts a lot of that rather than having the wheel spin brake dust and a lot of it falls off and goes into the air and then drops somewhere else. Instead, it's all hitting this and dropping down. So that's just another thing that I've noticed on my ICE car. Again, Teslas, you don't use the brake as much, so you don't really see that too often. I'm just throwing these things out there for you guys. That is the cons of brake. That is that are that is the cons that are the that is the cons of caliper covers. Let's move on to the cons of painting your calipers. So, the main con of painting your calipers are that it takes a long time. You have to bag the car, you have to prep for painting, you have to prime it, you have to wait for the primer to dry, you have to paint it, you have to wait for that paint to dry, and then you have to wait for all that paint to dry and everything to dry. Then you can stick your Tesla letters on there, and then you can take the bag off and you need like six hours or whatever to make the paint dry. It's a long time. It is expensive. It's a lot more because it's way more labor intensive. You risk getting paint on places. You risk getting overspray on your car. And another con is that it is a pretty dirty process, which is why it makes it expensive, risky, and all that. Uh, you are having someone get on their hands and knees and they are bagging up your car and they you're hoping that they bag every little inch so no overspray gets anywhere. Paint goes everywhere, paint goes underneath the car. It's, it's crazy. It's awesome though. <laughs> so that completes it for the pros and cons of both. Now we're gonna get to my opinion. So on my ICE car, my Audi, I have caliper covers. I've had them for years like a year after I bought that car and I've still had them on there, it's been a couple years. My Tesla, I have painted calipers. And there's a reason why I got painted calipers. This is, again, this is just my opinion. I really think both look great and operate just fine. Um, but I lean more towards painted calipers because they look so much cooler. The, the, the shape of the calipers just looks gorgeous on the Model 3 and I wanna keep that gorgeous look. I don't wanna cover it with something flat. Also, it would have been very hard to mimic my color of caliper with um, vinyl, and nor did I even want to mess with that. I really don't care for caliper covers whatsoever. I love the painted brake look. It looks awesome, and that's my opinion. Boom, done. So I hope this helped you guys out a little bit, hearing some pros and cons, and then my opinion after a couple of years of experience. And comment what your thoughts are and comment which one you're going to go for. Alrighty, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. The next video is the mods list of the Model 3, the beast. Subscribe if you want to see that. Like this video if you liked it. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.